Welcome back to the Junk Man's Adventures. Today I'm going to make a denim tool pouch out of an old pair of jeans. But first, I need an old pair of jeans. I wonder where I can find some. Alright, let's get serious here. Here's some of the tools I want to put in this tool pouch. There's some essential tools that I want to keep with uh, the car that I have that these are going to go in. Now here I am laying out kind of how I want to put these in. However, you'll notice later in the video, I sort of modify this design as I get about building it. I decided to do the positioning of the tools just a little bit differently. And first, I'm going to start by cutting it out, and I am going to leave the seam down the leg. I'm going to leave that intact just for the moment, because I'm going to need to fold it over. And again, I kind of modify this design as I go to uh, suit how I think it should be after I get the tools in there. Now I decided I'm going to square off this end. And match these up and then I'm going to fold it over and make a finished edge. It's just a straight seam and I'm doing the same thing finishing the other sides of the pouch to shorter sides as you can see my chalk marks that's where my pouches for each one of the wrenches and screwdrivers is gonna go And this is just showing how I finished over the edge on the back side and then trimmed it off. I'm finishing the bottom side as this folds together and it's going to create a pocket. Now I'm starting to sew each one of the pockets, starting at the bottom and kind of following my general chalk lines. Of course, I modified the design just ever so slightly from the way I was going to lay it out. And here's how a screwdriver would slip in there. I decided to leave the handles completely exposed because a flap of denim over the top I found was inconvenient. And here we go, putting all the tools in, the pouch, and the way they go. I alternated the wrenches just to give room for the handles. Got my vice grips, pliers, small screwdrivers, and a set of Allen wrenches. And this completes my car's emergency tool kit. And I'll later put a Velcro strap on the end to hold it all together. Well, that was a quick little video, and I thank you for watching. Please subscribe, visit the Facebook page, visit my Instagram, and thanks for watching.